Hey everybody, welcome back to Brain Muffin at the Movies, and sorry for the delay, I uh, caught a little bug out of celebration, and I'm finally feeling better. And I want to thank everybody who has been watching this video of mine from almost seven weeks ago now, over 300,000 views, this is crazy, and I am very appreciative, I know that I got some names wrong, and I um, said, you know, Morton Downey Jr., or Martin Downey Jr., or something like that, and Hawkman instead of Hawkeye. I thought I corrected, uh, but most people, the comments have been pretty good. Um, that not reminding me over and over and over and over again. A lot, a lot of people have done that. But hey, I appreciate it. And uh, three and a half minute average on this 11 minute video. And I'll try to be quicker in the future. And here we have, it's because a lot of people are really um, getting up on uh, Brie Larson. Um, over last weekend, and I think this is what kind of phased all this into, into my existence, is um, she kind of, there's been various videos I've seen on her and Chris Hemsworth going back and forth. And I do have a link to the full interview, and I've been meaning to um, look at it in total to give kind of my take. But I came across, it's, it's kind of that research, I came across this article. Now, I understand this is in the, in the Hindustan Times, um, so take it with a grain of salt, but I found this take very interesting because most people have been really jumping all over Brie for various reasons, you know, calling her spoiled brat, calling her a latecomer, you know, a, a whole litany of names. And, um, you know, I'm just going to kind of judge the, her on on what she says in, in the media and stuff like that. And, you know, I think her acting is OK. I mean, quite often when an actor or an actress gets an Oscar, it's been a it's a very good part, too. You, you've got to start usually got to start with a wet, very well written part. Um, so. Uh, I wanted I, so I wanted to see the full exchange before I gave my opinion. If I'm even going to give it, I may not. I may I may not just I may just kind of just let it ride at this point. But this was interesting. So Avengers Endgame star uh, Brie Larson shuts down Thor. Chris Hemsworth uh, is all uh, well between the two. Now I I don't think so. I know he says you know that his kids like uh, Wonder Woman, um, and the Wonder Woman movie is is okay. Um, in the DC universe, it, it was a big improvement, but that's because the other movies are so bad. Um, I've gone on record. Uh, I don't think Gall is much of a Wonder Woman either. I think that's a miscast. I mean, she's gorgeous, and and that's about it. She doesn't. I, the two of them, I don't think can, can, you know their acting is about the equal. Uh, Brie Larson and Gal Gadot. Uh, the promotions of uh, Avengers Endgame. I got a tad uncomfortable as Thor, Chris Hemsworth, and Captain Marvel, Brie Larson sat together. Uh, Green, Brie not only shut down Chris Hemsworth, but things uh, seem to have gotten testy between the two. A missing comma. I know she said she does her own stunts, and that has become a meme. She's comparing herself to um, Tom Cruise, and that has become a bit of a meme uh, on the internet already. It's very interesting. Tom does, I mean, the guy is somewhat in his mid 50s. He's just incredible shape, but he's crazy too. In a video shared by Entertainment Tonight, and this is what this is taken from, uh, Brie Larson said that she did uh, her own stunts in Avengers Endgame, and Chris compared uh, her uh, with Tom Cruise. No, I'll be the first me, not the next Tom Cruise. Thank you very much. Now, see, now I know she's kind of, I think she thinks she's being funny here, because uh, I have seen that much of an excerpt from uh, those things, and I don't find a problem uh, with this. Uh you know, this, this rebuttal, I'll be the first me, not the next Tom Cruise. That's good. I actually like that. Um, I think people are making way too much of it on both sides now, because this is, this is in support of Brie and people have been jumping all over Brie. Um, and a, yet another clip when Chris joked that he stole their, that she stole their hearts during shooting of Endgame, Brie fired back. Oh, Chris, that's really nice. I'm still stronger than you, you know, so. Um, and this is about her, I imagine their characters. Um, you know, the thing is with Captain Marvel, I, and I and I want to believe that part of the way the reason they made her OP and almost a Mary Sue is this was kind of shoehorned in at the end and she had a long way to go. We, we couldn't have the two or three movies like we did for Iron Man and we did for Thor, right? If you look at uh, Iron Man, Tony Stark starts off, he's this very egotistical um, he, he's, he has a lot of hardship in that first movie. The second one, he's just full of himself. They, you know, is this, this, um, playboy narcissist really. And, uh, then he has an enemy that really hands it to him and he really has to think about what he's doing. And, um, his relationship with Pepper is starting to change quite a bit. And uh, so by the time we get to Avengers, you know, she's very upset that he's going off into space with Spider-Man. Um, but well, for infinity war, I should say. And because, uh, you know, there's there's all kinds of speculation. Maybe she's pregnant, whatever. We see her in Iron Man three kind of 
join with Tony and get him to remove the shards and all that stuff from his that were handing into his heart. So Tony's had three plus movies because you also have some Avenger movies in there in between. Uh, Thor's had his own three movies. Captain America didn't. And what it almost feels like, and maybe this was a late idea and maybe they should have started it several years ago. Maybe Captain America should have had something where, you know, that that one movie, not Captain America, I did it again. <laughs> Captain Marvel uh, is three movies. And now we're at this point, or at least two. And because um, you remember Thor in the first one, he loses his hammer until he proves himself worthy. And so he does go through some struggles and things like that. And Captain Marvel has done some, but I, th- I think it just feels, it almost feels, it, not almost, it does feel too rushed. It's like Batman versus Superman should have been like two, maybe three movies instead of the one that it was. So Brie Larson um, had the best clap back at Chris Hemsworth when he implied she did all her own stunts because she wanted to be the next Tom Cruise. Do not come at her. I guess this is the clapping. I, this is a meme that I don't understand. And I did think I did say Captain um, Captain America before. And people are going to make all kinds of comments about that. That's great. I, I don't mind. Um, Reed Larson says she didn't uh, steal anything from the set of Avengers Endgame. But Chris Hemsworth says he di- she did steal one thing, their hearts. Okay. Yeah, I think he's trying to be a little sappy here. Uh, does this actually play? Okay. So, yeah, I can hear that. But you guys can't. So, um, anyway. Uh, Larson also said that things uh, that says uh, turning director uh, says that turning director with Unicorn Store not only made her a better performer, but also gave her an overarching perspective about the process of filmmaking. Now, I know a couple of people have seen the Unicorn Store. They weren't too enthused, but they really may not be in the target audience. Uh, they're female, but I think they're a little bit older, a little bit too old. The actor, I mean, in their late twenties, who became uh, the first uh, front woman to Marvel a superhero um, to front a Marvel superhero movie with Captain Marvel, and will next be uh, seen in Avengers Endgame. Yeah, only we should have had a Black Widow movie by now. We should have had a Black Widow movie four or five years ago. Um, and I want to see a Scarlet Witch movie too, not that stupid TV show. Based on the original screenplay by uh, Samantha McIntyre, Unicorn Store revolves around a woman named Kit. Uh, Larson, who uh, who after moving back with her parents, receives a mysterious invitation to a store that will test her idea of what it really means to grow up, which sounds actually it sounds a very interesting premise, um, especially for millennials. Uh, directing uh, makes me a much better actor because you see the entire process all the way through. I've actually heard uh, several other actors who have done the same thing. Uh, Jonathan Frakes and uh, LeVar Burton both have said similar things because you have a, a better perspective, a better appreciation for all the other things that go on. As actors, you just show up. You don't get to be a part of the pre-production as much and not see what everybody does uh, on a team. That's probably true. It just gives you an overarching perspective that is really valuable because sometimes everybody gets caught up in their roles. They don't see the bigger picture or how they fit uh, in this. And with films like this in particular, where it's uh, beyond even what's happening on the sets, there are a lot of people all over the world working on the CGI, uh, working behind the scenes. The film, uh, which released on Strong okay, so that's just about that. And I don't really need, and then we got Endgame coming up uh, in the week. Um, so, and they said, you know, Tom, because this is an Indian uh, newspaper. So, you know, uh, I don't know about a clapback. Uh, again, I'm gonna have to see the whole thing, and maybe this is maybe this will give me. I don't want to. Yeah. Okay, so she does give a little sass on the very much. Thank you very much. But I still think she thinks she's being funny. Um, And uh, her lack of comedic timing is part of the problem. And she doesn't really have any charm. And uh, that's also part of the problem. Uh, Whereas whereas Hensworth does. And I think she's kind of fed up with it. But hey, we'll see. So uh, end of the week, end game coming up. Thanks everybody for watching these videos. And I want to thank everybody who has watched and commented over 3,600 comments, over three, 305,000 views. I am humbled and 500, uh, over 5,000 thumbs up. That is great. And I will do my best to dig up articles and bring them to you in a more timely fashion. Thank you very much. And we'll see you. Goodbye. All right. We're going to test. That looks, oh, it's good. Yep. Yeah, that'll work. I got to cough first. <coughs> I know. Got all that beer I got a label. Uh yeah, let's bring this up to the front just to make sure that nothing happens and we'll crease that a little bit. All right, cool. Thanks. Let's get started. Three, two.